Hi guys, today we are in this beautiful location filming the new seven day abs program for the BB Fit app. And today I thought that I would show you guys some really common ab workout mistakes that I see. I'm always seeing different comments, you know, saying, how do I lose my belly pooch or how come my neck hurts? So I really wanted to talk about the proper way to work your core to get the best results from your workouts and to make sure that your form is perfect and you've got a good ab workout routine. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, I wanna talk about all the different muscles in our core and how to work them all effectively. Because we do have so many different muscle groups in our core, it's really important to take the time and target and tone all of them, which is why in the seven day abs program on BB Fit, I'm breaking it down day by day so that we can really isolate and effectively work those muscles so that we can see those results. First things first, we have our six pack muscles. For those, it's a lot of sort of more crunching movement. So rounding through the spine, coming through that C curve, that's what's gonna help us get those abs down the center. Next, we have our inner oblique. So this is what's gonna help us to tighten the waistline and create that nice shape, that hourglass shape. The best moves for that are different twisting exercises. So these are great to really help tighten and pull everything in like a corset. Next, we have our outer obliques. So that's what gives us those nice, sexy sidelines, those 11 lines. And we also wanna work sort of that muffin top area. I hate that term, but those lovely love handles. <laughs> so I like to tone the side of the abs. The best thing to do for that is different sort of side bending exercises. You know, different things like our squeeze, stretch, squeeze, stretch really helps us to get those nice 11 lines. Then our lower abs always need that little bit of extra love. So I love to add in different exercises that really help to give us that good lower ab burn. I always like to have a day where I really work my lower abs. I feel like it's a harder to tone area. So I really like adding in things like reverse crunches, different types of leg lifts from different angles to really help to flatten and tone that area. Next, we have our deep, core muscles. So it's so important to properly engage our abs, which I'll show you later in the video, but that's what helps to pull the abs in so that they're nice and flat. They're not rounding out as we sculpt them. So different planking exercises are great. And we also have to, when we're working our deep core, we need to work our posture as well. So adding in different back exercises, different sorts of four point kneeling rows and weighted exercises can be a great way to really tone and tighten through the whole core. Now let's get into some form tips because when it comes to abs, form is everything. And I see a lot of different comments and mistakes that people make with their ab workouts that can really be affecting the results that they're getting. So I wanna show you guys a great way to create a core connection. If you're here in that four point kneeling, which is the foundation of planks, a lot of exercises we do, this is your abs just hanging heavy. Think of taking that deep breath in and then as you exhale, I want you to imagine almost like you're walking into cold water. You're really pulling those lower abs in. You're pushing into your hands. You're really exhaling, pulling them in deep. So a few more times, do it with me if you want at home. Deep breath in, everything is relaxed. As you exhale, you're really pulling in. So see how much more stable that is, how much more my abs are engaged nice and tight. This is a great foundation to then come into any of your exercises, like your planks, but keeping that core nice and flat and strong. So having that core foundation is really important, especially when I show you some of these common form tips that I see. So a lot of people complain about their neck hurting when they're doing ab workouts. So if you're lying down on your back, 
and then you're doing, say, a crunch and you're pulling it forward like this, you're not going to get a great workout because you're pulling on your neck and you're doming your stomach. So what I like to think about to make sure that your neck isn't hurting is that you're almost feeling like you're pushing your head back into your hands. Deep breath in like we just did to engage our core and then exhale. See how much more flat my stomach stays when we think of pulling the belly button to the spine. So deep breath in and then exhale. You should notice that then your head isn't being pulled forward because you're lifting up and keeping the abs flat. So it never matters how high you crunch because that's actually gonna be counterproductive and dome your abs creating that sort of bulge underneath your abdominals. So what you want to do is just really focus on keeping everything pulled in and nice and flat. Even if you have to slow it down to work on that form, it's so important. See, keeping it nice and flat, resting your head back into your hands. So another thing that I see a lot of in ab workouts in the comments is that people's low back hurts. So an easy way to prevent that is by coming into that pelvic tuck. Exhale, rounding through the spine so you're keeping your abs nice and flat, lower back on the mat. And then from there, you have a way better foundation to move through without hurting your low back. You have to really use your exhale to keep that ab engaged. And then that's a really stable starting point for you for when you're doing any sort of ab exercises. So with the ab workouts too, we really always wanna be thinking of keeping a long line from the top of our head down to the bottom of our spine. A lot of times with these workouts where we're sort of in this seated position, I start to see people collapsing down. Automatically, you're gonna see that my abs are totally switched off and my shoulders are hunched. I'm not gonna be getting an actual workout in my abs. My hip flexors are just moving. So what you wanna do is get that foundation find that nice long spine and from there lift up and then if you have to reduce your range you can but you're in that better position you're more stable so form is so important when it comes to your abs because we don't want to be building that muscle out we want to be keeping it pulled in and sleek so we can get that beautiful definition now let's talk about planks because I feel like a lot of people, myself included, have a love-hate relationship with a plank. <laughs> so a lot of times with side planks, I see people saying that, you know, it really hurts their shoulders. So again, it all comes back to properly engaging our core. And you want to make sure that your alignment is nice. So you want to have your shoulder up over your elbow and you really want to stack those hips and then think of deep breath in. Exhale, pull those abs in and lift up. Now you can always modify a plank. You don't have to have those full extended legs. You can keep one bent, two bent, but the most important thing is thinking of creating that rainbow shape. So really lifting up and pulling those abs back in, that's gonna protect our back and that's gonna help us get way better results and feel more comfortable. So the same thing goes with our, full, with our full planks. If you're feeling it in your back or in your arms too much, it's because you're not engaging your core. So we need to really get that beautiful foundation. And from there, you can step back. It's really a good idea to take your hands just slightly in front of your shoulders because that will prevent you from dumping your weight forward or back. Another thing you wanna do is really think of pushing into the ground, pushing up, through that core, pulling your abs in, and it gives you that really strong foundation so that then you can go into those more advanced plank moves. Get that deep core work, baby. <laughs> While we're down here, I wanna talk about something else that might be making you feel back pain or add bulk on your upper abs. So a lot of times when we take a deep breath in or we prepare to do our ab exercise, People breathe in like this and they're pushing their ribs forward. So in Pilates, you really want to keep everything knitted in nice and tight. So I'll actually show you seated what it looks like. So if I'm popping at my abs and breathing in, everything is kind of sticking out. So we want to instead think of going 
and exhale, really knitting them together. Notice how much more that really works through those obliques, pulls everything in nice and tight like a corset. So I'll show you down in a crunch. Sometimes I'll be seeing people go like this, and they're just sort of popping, taking it into their back, and then doming. That's not what we want. Small, controlled. We want to take that deep breath in, widen the ribs, and then nice, flat abdominal wall. Honestly, I think a crunch is probably the hardest move to master, but once you get that core connection down, you are going to see such great results. So keep focusing on your form. You will absolutely get it perfect and feel so good. So the perfect workout routine will get all of those muscles in the abs and it'll also alternate toning workouts so that we can really tone and define the ab muscles with low impact cardio and HIIT cardio to help burn fat on top of those muscles. If you do need that little bit of guidance and you want my ultimate seven day abs program with all my best ab workouts, definitely check out the new seven day abs program on the BB Fit app. I will link it below you can get started and you will see such an amazing change in just one week. I hope you guys have loved this video and found it useful. Feel free to leave me a comment below with any of your abs questions or any questions about the BB Fit app and the seven day abs program below and I will answer them. I hope you have an amazing day and remember be consistent. It's what it's all about and show your body love during the process. See you in the next one.